what we're going to do is we're going to combust some methanol. Now, if you noticed up in the equation there, the combustion of methanol, which actually produces carbon dioxide water, this reaction produces 359 kilojoules of heat. Translated into calories, <laughs> translated into calories, it's about 85 KACAL calories, like food calories. So when you see this energy, think how hard you have to work to get rid of 85 calories. kilojoules of energy being produced from the combustion of 20 milliliters of methanol. He's going to put, he's going to pour in about half of that colorless solution. It's marked A1. It's not steak sauce. He's pouring it in there. He's not going to take another colorless solution and pour that in. And we're going to take yet a third colorless solution. We're going to add that. This is real kitchen chemistry. Oh, cool. Oh, what's going on here? This is, a, this is a clock reaction. Just the periodicity of the change in color from amber to clear to blue violet. You can actually tell time by looking at it. The excess hypoiodous acid reacts with I-, which is colorless, to form I-2, which is amber. And when I- and I-2 are present together, they form a pentaiodide complex, five iodides connected together, that inserts itself into the helical structure of the starch we have in there. And that produces the blue-black color. We're actually going to use a faster catalyst, and we're going to add a little bit of soap into the hydrogen peroxide. And we're going to see what, what effect that has. And I think... Can someone yell out their favorite color?
Now, that air is now liquefied. The oxygen is a liquid inside of that balloon. Now, watch it carefully because as it warms up again, the oxygen is again turning back to uh, the vapor state. And the animal is okay. The baby is okay.